Hello, welcome back. Welcome back to this program. How is everybody doing? I hope everyone is doing great. And uh, yeah, I was trying to present today Bible study, but unfortunately, I was called to somewhere because their computer was having problem. So I had to go and support them uh, to fix the PC. Um, anyway, I wasn't able to do anything. Anyway, uh, tomorrow, God willing, or after tomorrow, I will continue uh, preparing a Bible study so that everybody will benefit and engage heavily in uh, studying the precious word of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Now, Abraham had three religions. That's the question. Abraham had three religions? Okay, because I have uh, uh, this issue. Let me show you uh, this catholics they they have they just they just uh, they don't have clues uh, sometimes it's just it's annoying 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 let's let's listen let's listen and let me say something i'm patty johnson and i'm the canon missioner here at the washington national cathedral and on behalf of our bishop Marianne Buddy and our Dean Gary Hall, I am just really pleased to welcome you here uh, to the National Cathedral, your National Cathedral, a National House of Prayer for all people, all people. And if we could just begin this evening uh, with a short prayer. Dear God, we come together this evening to seek deeper understanding of Islam and the Quran. As the three Abrahamic faiths, Judaism, Christianity, and Islam, we share a commonality in the belief of one God and a respect for common divine laws. Let us tonight listen deeply and let us open our minds and our hearts toward a greater understanding and respect for our similarities and our differences. And may we depart tonight understanding we are one humanity, all of us together, working toward the creation of one beloved community on earth. Amen. Oh. <laughs> uh, how this clueless woman just <laughs> the house for all of us, all of us as three Abrahamic faith. Does Abraham, did Abraham had any religion? These people they don't have any clue. These are blind babblers. Blind babblers. They just babble and mumble. <laughs> they don't know anything. They don't know anything. These Catholics are just, just, they just like to do, you know, bring all things together. All will be one. All under one umbrella. Who will be here? Yeah. We just are seeking to understand Muslim. Islam, the beauty of Islam. La ilaha illallah, Muhammad Rasulullah. Does you know what the meaning is? There is no God backed Allah. The Arabian Allah. Abraham had nothing to do with Islam. Was Abraham a Christian? Christianity came later. Abraham was not a Christian. Abraham even if he he was not in a, uh, he didn't have a Judaism. He was a man of faith. Abraham believed God and was counted for him righteousness. Abraham was a man of God. When God commanded him to leave the land, he came out of that land. Genesis 12. Ha! This clueless, mumbling people. They just have it. They have nothing. Now the Lord had said unto Abraham, Get out of thy country, and from thy kindred, and from thy father's house, unto a land that I will show thee, and I will make thee of great nation, and I will bless thee, and make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. I will bless them that bless thee, and curse, them, curse him that curses thee, and in thee shall all the families of the earth be blessed. This is, this is what the command of God. Abraham believed that. Abraham was a man who listened God, who obeyed the commandment of God. 
he was not like a Catholic. He was not Orthodox. He was not this and or that. He was a man of God. He doesn't. He. he what? What in the world? Where did you you guys bring this? That Abraham was a Muslim. He knows Allah, the Arabian God. Abraham listened Yahweh, Jehovah, the God of Israel, not the the Moon God. No, these people are blind. Until we understand one, we what is what is a union between darkness? What is a common thing between darkness and light? Jesus, the kingdom of Jesus is the kingdom of light. We believe Jesus Christ, the Son of God, and we believe I am. That's what Jesus said. Jesus, Jesus said, "Ah, these people are." These people are um, just. Look, what Jesus said. Jesus said unto him, "I am the way, I am the truth, and I am the life. No man comes unto the Father but by me." He is the way. We believe. We salvation is through Jesus Christ. There is no one else. There is no one else. Not Muhammad. Not Rishna. Nobody else. Jesus is the one who paid the price. Muhammad didn't pay any price. He looted the money. He robbed the people. There he killed the people. The murderer. What's common between Jesus and him? What's common between between light and darkness? We say Jesus is the only savior. There is no other way. Nobody paid price for humanity. Nobody loved humanity like Jesus Christ. He alone deserved to be the king of kings and the lord of lords who controls everything muhammad a thief a murderer a woman manga who took his own son's wife how dare you people say this you catholics you better open your bible and read the bible don't just call yourself you know a christian a christian is one who follows jesus christ a christian christianos that comes from the greek word one who follows Christ. What is common between Islam and and and, and uh, Christianity? What's common between Judaism and Islam? We have one God. Oh, the Quran and a Bible. We have one. There is nothing common. They are far, far, far apart, as the night and the day, as the light and the darkness. Islam is a religion of darkness, the, the religion of death. But these people do not read their Bible, they have their own. Oh, the mother of God. You don't know what, you know, the mother of God. God has a mother? God has a mother? That's what this heretics, these are heretics. They don't know anything. We don't have anything in common. Nothing nothing in common rather we are opposite they killed the children of god they destroyed how many how many how many christians were destroyed because of isis because of al qaeda because of al shabab come on what can you can you name them can you call them and now you call oh we are under one god this woman she has a big mouth big mouth all right i'm sorry about that because i feel bad i feel bad about this because we can't compare jesus with anybody else muhammad is was a murderer he was a false prophet because the bible says so it's not me hey man <sighs> yeah man uh just one moment because it just I just came to this lady randomly. Um, um, so, oh, brother of Christian Prince. Galatians chapter 1. It's not coming. Okay, this is what I'm trying to do, but it's not coming. 
the Bible says, look, marvel, uh, I marvel, it was, it was, it was telling them, um, uh, as we said before, so I say now, if any man preach any other gospel unto you, than you have received, let him be accursed. Let him be accursed. Let him be accursed. And then eight, but the we, or an angel, Gabriel, 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 from heaven, preach any other gospel unto you than that which we have preached unto you, let him be accursed. A cursed prophet? Muhammad is a, a cursed prophet. A prophet of curse and destruction and death, everlasting punishment. How can we say we have one God? Oh God, Abrahamic faith. Abraham did not have any religion. Abraham was a man of God. A man of God. Okay? Abraham was a man of God who listened to the Lord God Almighty and followed his commandment. We should follow on the footstep of Abraham, not in religion. All right, thank you. May the Lord richly bless you. Uh, uh, just we'll continue. We'll continue bombarding these people.